Last time Washington was in the playoff, they played in Atlanta in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They are certainly going to go back, and we're delighted to be joined by the head coach of the Huskies, Kalen DeBoer, who Thanks. has uh, made this a big-time winning program in short order. Kalen, I want to... I want you to take me inside the decision-making process when you give up the quick touchdown. Now you know you've got to move the ball a little bit. What was the approach offensively with that final possession? Yeah, you just want to get the clock rolling, you know, and see what you can do as far as, uh, you know, running the time off, making them burn their timeouts. And, uh, you know, we got a holding call in there. Um, and so we put ourselves behind the chains. But uh, our guys just did a really nice job. Um, just playing the next play, and uh, DJ found his team there to to get the final first down and let the clock, uh, you know, be run out. Coach DeBoer, congrats on the Pac-12 championship. Um, you know, some people potentially fell asleep last night when Oregon took the lead 24-20 in the second half, and it appeared as if maybe they were going to do what they had done for like the last six weeks. Those people are idiots, obviously. I wouldn't <laughs> say that is me, but this is numerous times <laughs> this season that your team has been able to close whenever it was very close. What does that say about your team, and why do you think your team is able to eke out these close games at the end? How, how was the nap, Pat? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Some, people, some people coach yeah I'm man. just proud of our guys <laughs> I'm just proud of our guys and the way they keep fighting and uh, we're a resilient group uh, we really understand what it takes to finish in the fourth quarter um, our guys believe and trust in each other and uh, they um, they've just done a great job you know finding a way to win it's a team effort offense defense and special teams each and every week Coach, we're seeing some teams run the table this year. You, you're, you just finished it off. What, what's the most challenging thing, especially in a conference like you're in? You just let your guard down for a second. Someone's trying to make their season. You've had a couple close calls. Just going through that journey, what was the toughest aspect for you? Yeah, you just know you're getting everybody's best shot. Each and every week, um, you know, you're the team to beat. And uh, people playing up, uh, you know, are going to bring their best, uh, put a great game plan together. And, uh, you know, um, it's a big win. And our, our schedule was just so tough down the stretch with so many ranked teams. And, uh, you know, I'm just proud of the way the resiliency, especially in November and uh, here with our conference championship, the way we handled really four ranked teams when we played them. Coach, uh, Dylan Johnson has really come on strong in the second half of the season. He was banged up going into this game, but he's just been the warrior out there. Tell us what Dylan Johnson has meant to your offense, especially in the second half of the season? Yeah, finding the ability to be balanced uh, when teams force us to run the football. Um, just the offensive line and DJ, you know, really working hand in hand, uh, a lot of confidence in each other. Um, he's just been a workhorse. He's uh, got the explosive plays, but, you know, those hard yards, uh, finding ways to get in the end zone, move the chains on, on third and short and fourth and short. Um, he's done it consistently here for the last five weeks. Yeah, you know, just because I've been around your team a lot, I know you've got it like a lot of teams. You've had to battle through some injuries, especially some key members, not just McMillan on the outside. By the way, it was great to see him healthy. What a difference when he's at 100% what he does with the rest of those receivers. But on the other side, the defense, that's a big challenge to play against Oregon. They get you out in space. They make you miss. Just seemed like having those safeties back, the communication. What do you think of the way they defended Bo, especially early in that game? Yeah, I thought they did a great job uh, having – guy like Asa Turner, who's really only played in four games all season. Um, and it was the, the Oregon game the last time uh, when he was out there. And so he, along with Cam Fabiculanen, um, really, you know, understand our scheme and get us in the right spots. And uh, they, they uh, helped uh, pull the rest of the defense together. Um, and those guys have done a great job without them. But uh, I'm, I'm, it's uh, just another, well, another level of a well-oiled machine for us when we have them all there. Coach, I have no say in anything, obviously. I'm not a part of the Heisman voting committee. I'm not a part of the college football playoff committee. And thank oh, you God should. for should. that. I for both of those you got to get, yeah. get, get this guy Heisman. Uh, yeah. What are you going to be watching for today? Uh, after... Heisman votes out here. Get no, this no, guy no, no. I don't need one. Don't want one. Don't, hey, we're not having that conversation right now. <laughs> Pac-12 champion coach is here joining us. I apologize for the little side <laughs> operation that just happened here. But what will you be watching for today, Coach? And how does it feel to – basically be the only team that is definitely in the college football playoff committee uh college football playoff this morning yeah it feels good i uh, just you know just uh, being able to enjoy the day um you know it was a short week for us and so we didn't even get a chance to enjoy our our uh you know rivalry game in the apple cup but uh 
we our guys uh, just grinded and worked hard, uh, coaching staff, players. And uh, so we're going to enjoy the moment right now, certainly watch the football a little bit and start getting prepared for uh, what lies ahead, getting on the road, recruiting, and all that good stuff. Well, you're a guy who knows how to navigate playoff brackets, but a much smaller one than those days at Sioux Falls when you lifted all those trophies. Kalen, congratulations on all the success, and we wish you well. Look forward to seeing you in the college football playoff. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Give me something. I'm